Hi again, it's Phil here from Revive My Ride. And in this video I'm going to show you how to clean battery terminals and remove battery terminal corrosion. If your battery terminal looks like this, then this is definitely your problem. But to be honest, it doesn't take anywhere near this level of corrosion to give you a starting problem. But this gives you an idea what to look for. At this point it's worth mentioning that if you're cleaning up battery terminals, then you should wear nitrile gloves and also some safety glasses. The reason is that deposits like this here can be corrosive. So if you've got corrosive deposits like this on your battery terminal and you want to get rid of the majority of it before cleaning it up properly with emery cloth later, uh, then you can just use a little brush like this one and give it a scrub off. But if this battery was still mounted inside your car and you were scrubbing it off like that, then all of those deposits would be going down into the engine bay and you may not want that corrosive material going down onto your battery tray and other engine components. So if that's the case, there's actually a way of neutralizing it first. You can actually just mix up a um, bicarbonate of soda slurry and that'll neutralize the acid that's on top of the battery terminal. So all you need really is about half a teaspoon of bicarbonate of soda and then just add a little bit of water to it. And then you just mix that up really well. Now just apply the soda slurry to any acidic areas that you want to clean up. You'll see it start to foam up a little bit and that shows a chemical reaction is taking place. And once it's stopped bubbling up, you can just wipe away the slurry using a clean cloth. Okay, we're gonna use this sandpaper to clean up the battery terminals. And the first thing we need to do is undo the negative clamp and remove it from the battery. Now we can go ahead and use the sandpaper to clean up the terminal. And you'll know you've got it right when you can see that it's coming up nice and shiny. But don't take off any more material than you need to though. With the terminal clean, you can now use the same piece of sandpaper to clean the inside of the clamp and bring that up nice and shiny and clean too. Now you can use a spray like electrical or brake cleaner and spray the terminal and wipe it down with a cloth and that will remove any dust or grease residue that remains. And just do the same for the battery terminal as well. So now we can move on to the positive terminal. And actually you can see now why we disconnected the negative one first because with the negative lead disconnected from the battery then it removes the risk of touching the spanner against a piece of metal which would run the risk of short circuiting the battery. So let's go ahead and loosen this clamp and remove it from the battery. Just like in this case, sometimes you might find it's a little bit difficult to get to the battery terminals to clean them up. And so you may want to consider either sliding the battery forward a little bit or removing it. And to do this, you'll have to undo the battery clamp. So this battery is held down by a screw that you need to remove with an Allen key. So here I'm just using an Allen key to loosen it off and remove it and then I can slide the battery out. With the battery slid forward now it's a much easier job for me to get to that positive terminal and clean it up properly. Again I'm using the sandpaper to clean up the battery terminal nice and shiny and clean. And then I'm using the sandpaper again to clean inside the clamp and get it the same. And again just a little spray to clean up the terminal and the clamp. If you removed your battery earlier, now it's time to push it back in place so you can get it connected back up. Now we're ready to connect the battery back up and the procedure is to connect the positive clamp back to the battery first and then go ahead and fit the negative clamp back on the battery. Make sure the connections are tightened up snug but don't over tighten them. And don't forget to clamp the battery back down again once you're finished. It's important that you never apply grease to the battery terminals before putting the clamps on because it actually insulates the battery from the clamp. But once you've got it connected up like this, you can go ahead and apply some grease to the outside of the clamps and terminals to keep the moisture out. So here you can see I'm applying just a small amount of grease to the top of each of the battery terminals. There's a couple of options here. You can either use the copper grease or you can use a silicone based grease. At this point, you know your connections are good, but if your battery is low, you can go ahead and charge it up with the battery in place. Okay, so I hope you found the video useful. And if you did, it'd be great if you could give me a thumbs up. And if you're not one of my subscribers already, then please consider subscribing. And finally, if you're still having problems with your car battery or problems with your car starting, check out the videos that are listed off to the side because they might help you out. Or drop me a comment and I'll help if I can. Thanks for watching and I'll catch you next time.